Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Alright, starting our new Game Plus file, because now we're going to start on the Endangered Weasel storyline. <laughs> Rain. Hmm. Okay, so the person we have to befriend, let's probably rearrange my items, we don't need these eggs anymore. <laughs> I'll put them at the bottom of my inventory. We have to befriend Gwen. And, <laughs> unfortunately it is and, a lot of guys would only say like, befriend Gwen until she visits you. But, there's also another requirement. You have to also befriend the harvest sprites? Which I wish they specified a little bit better because it took me like a whole month like, in-game month of playing to figure it out. So yeah, we're also gonna befriend the three Harvest Sprites. Luckily, the three of them, they share affection with each other, so like, you just need like, 80 combined affection with them. And if you're giving all three of them gifts and chatting with them every day, it'll, it'll be pretty quick. It should be pretty quick to settle their requirement. Alright, so I'm just making some very berry jam for Gwen. That's her, like, favorite thing. And I think... Once I finish my farm chores, I'll probably stop by Ronald's and buy some honey for the harvest sprites. They also, like, other things like mushrooms, but those grow in fall and we never seem to make it to fall. And they also like flan, but I don't really feel like cooking that. <laughs> I wonder how much I should keep stockpiled. And how many do I have in my bag? Okay, a little bit over a week's worth. And I'll keep it there. Alright, let's get started with our chores. That always takes the longest thing to do. I'm also, I'm like sorry if it gets a little repetitive, but you know, it's got kind of the name of the game here. Alright, Tiki's. I kind of feel bad, but I also want to just leave you in here because <laughs> I don't. I don't like carrying you inside. I I should probably consider selling some of these chickens, but I don't know. Having six of them gives me like a greater chance to get a golden egg from each of them. All right, chickadees. Is my cow still out here? Yep. My horse is not though. Go outside, darling. And let's give you a little bit of attention. Also, hmm. There also there's also another thing that we can get by befriending the harvest sprites. And it also involves your dog though. I'm not sure how many hearts I need with a dog to be able to get it. Cause I just happened to have a dog with full hearts when I like started befriending the harvest sprites during the endangered weasel storyline. And I just like happened to get it. So I'm not sure what the exact heart requirement is. My dog only has three hearts still. Hmm. Doggo, you gonna like me better. Maybe I'll whistle. I think like whistling and picking him up. <laughs> boost them up a little bit. Alright, gotta go hunting for Gwen. And buy maybe buy some honey from the supermarket if you're so kind to be open. Yay, alright. Let's see. I'm, I'm not gonna buy that many. Uh, I'll buy nine, actually. So like, three days worth. Oh, okay, you sell eggs. You don't, you don't, you don't want to buy them for me, though. <laughs> I got confused. I was like, wait, can I sell my eggs? It's like, no. Alright, I think I'm also gonna chat with some people as well. Hey, Ronald. Get vi visiting Tony's farm. Gonna be running his farm, did you say? Well, nice to meet you. I'm Ronald. Yeah, I wanna talk to people. Even though they don't have a friendship requirement, I'm kinda curious to see if they have anything to say about the weasel later on. Although I couldn't get any dialogue <laughs> from them. The first time I played, they were mostly just like... 
yeah, it's the dry season. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, let me just get rid of some introductory dialogue while I'm here. Um, is Lila's shop open? Let me chat with you. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. I didn't think we'd be getting any visitors here. <laughs> did, did you marry? Did you marry Lewis in the last timeline? Did you guys get hitched? We'll never know. <laughs> we don't even get to know in Magical Melody. <laughs> Cause like they have rival events and like these two are like a like kind of a rival couple, but they never let allow marriage in that game. It gets like stuck at at just one rival event. Hey, what's up? Probably the new owner of that farm? Yes, I should probably buy some bird feed while I'm here. I'm Bob. Give me some of that. I used up a lot. Okay, Gwen, are you still at the horsey place or are you wandering around? Yes, you are here. Okay. Hey, Gwen! Are you the strange guy who moved into that farm? Well, whatever. Good luck. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't like you. Here you go, have some jam. Wow, homemade jam? It looks delicious, thanks. All right, I'm gonna get you to like me. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I, I've expressed this before, but like, I, I liked Gwen in Magical Melody, but once I played this game and like, learned her real personality, I don't like her. Hey, Kurt. Where did you come from? I see, my name's Kurt. I'm an apprentice at the Carpenters. Alright, bye. Bye, dude. Let me pick these very berries. Cause I'll probably not go to the villa. <laughs> not go to the villa. <laughs> for a while. Yoink. Gina, darling, are you heading back inside? Looks like you are. I'll talk to you anyway. How do you do? My name is Gina. You must be Mr. Talon. It's a pleasure to meet you. I have a feeling these 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 girls over here will have nothing to say about the weasel because they're kind of isolated from the rest of the town. They rarely come down. I don't think Martha... Martha. I've never seen Martha come down to town and Dia definitely doesn't. Hello there, dear. I've never seen you around here before. Oh, where are you from? Oh, you're Tony's grandson, Talon. My name's Martha. Nice to meet you. Where's Rude Girl? Oh, it's kinda like, sh uh, where'd you go? <laughs> Are you like in the reading room? Down here. Hello, I have never seen you before. Are you a tourist? No, I do not need to know your name. You won't be here for long anyway, will you? <laughs> you do not need to know my name either. Okay, girl. And wander around some more looking for harvest rights. They're not here, right? Okay. They just, they're like in random areas. I, I'm not sure their schedule. I just. If I see them, I'm just like, hey! Do -do -do -do, are you there? <laughs> are you in that corner? Maybe you're at the. Maybe you're at Maple Lake? Imagine, like, I just miss them every time. Hey, Tim. Hi, my name's Tim. Nice to meet you. What's your name, big guy? Oh, you moved to the farm. Good luck. <laughs> Gotta be careful, like, what voices I do. Just because I've been exhausting my voice by, like, playing this game too much. Oh man, the cat's outside. I thought I let both the kitties in. Right, well, hi, Woody. Who, who are you? What do you want? Oh, you're his grandson. It's too late to come and live here. You see, this town might become history pretty soon. Mm. Uh, I want to let my cat inside, but I also don't want to interrupt things. Harvest sprites. Okay, they're wandering around this zone. Hey, um, you're telling, right? I'm Flack. I love to sleep. People spend their days off in different places. Check the map to see when shops are closed. Uh, just let me rearrange 
my bags again, so the honey's a little bit higher on the list. Uh, here you go, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, sweets are fattening, so I'm trying to cut down, but if you insist, thanks. Really, you're on a diet? <laughs> you're a harvest sprite. A myth- like a mythical creature. Hey, Joe. You're that old farmer dude. The old farmer dude's son. I'm Joe. You have so much dialogue. <laughs> Uh, their sprites are in these corners. Hey, Nick. Hi, Talon. I'm Nack. Or, never mind, you're Nack. Nick is the leader. Nice to meet you. You should talk to everyone to make friends. When you want to give something to someone, hold the item and press the X button. Good luck. I don't know why I gave you, like, Lila's voice. Yay, I love sweets. <laughs> He's not on a diet. How about you, Nick? Hello, Talon. I'm Nick. Hey, did you come up with a good idea? Is it... Uh, is it good? Is it neat? What's it like? Oh, let me tell you something good. You can sell things you can find in the forest to the shops. Have some money. I love sweets! Ah. Just... <laughs> Okie doke. Get these blueberries. Did I do it? Parsley? Hi, Parsley. I'm a plant hunter. My job is to look for plants and seeds. Hey, Katie? Never seen you before. Oh, you must be Tony's grandson. Are you going to work on his farm? Oh, I see. So what's your name? How old are you? So many questions. Where are you from? Okay, so you're Talon. Nice to meet you. I'm Katie, and I'm 16 years old. You're the marriageable age in Japan. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Wallace. I don't know what voice to give you. I run the cafe at the bar, so where are you from? <laughs> no, I don't like that voice. I, s I see. You're, you're for your grandfather's farm. You're Tony's grandson. I'll think about a voice for Wallace that doesn't hurt my vo my vocal cords. Well, good luck. Good luck, old dude. I, li I like Wallace. Wallace is a nice old dude. Right, I guess I'll get rid of that cutscene that happens at the goddess pond where the sprites are just like, hey, you can chuck things in the spring and make a wish. Don't need to see that. I already saw it once. Yeah, we got so many berry berries. Yoink. And a yoink. Okie doke. Let's skedaddle. Alright, we spent a good chunk of the day just talking to people. Alright, let me let me like be right back real quick. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. I'll either cut that out, or if it's not too long or, or loud, I'll just leave it in. <laughs> yeah, I try to cut it out, cut it out, because, like, you know, it wastes time uh, letting the cat back in. And plus, I set my headphones down on the desk, and I'm, like, kind of worried that it makes, like, a giant boom sound. I don't want to hurt your ear holes. And Gwen's going back home. I'm going back home, too. Okay, I'm just gonna pray that it's miraculously sunny tomorrow, and I'll probably be disappointed. Let me save over this file. I hope that was okay. <laughs> and it's rainy. What did I expect? Alright, time to let my animals in. Uh, here we go, dog. Have some have some eggs. Unfortunately, I don't get any more eggs today. And the chickens. But they'll be fine. I mostly just want them for golden eggs at this point. And they can't do that while, while they're inside. I don't have some feed I bought. 
Bought a bunch of sacks of feed at Bob's yesterday. Hmm, I wonder where the harvest sprites hang out on rainy days. I haven't really been observant of them. Do they hang out in their house on rainy days? That would be convenient. Because then I wouldn't have to hunt them down. Chase them to the ends of the earth. Okay, birdos. You know you don't like getting wet. Not many animals like getting wet. Yeah, they, they don't want to get cold and they, they could potentially get sick. Although I feel like some animals should be like partially immune to that, like ducks. Well, sometimes birds like, like to get wet as well. Take a bird bath. Alright, sorry cow, don't look angry at me. Horsey, come here. Do do do. Mm. All right, here you go. Food. Make sure you guys get some attention so you feel a little bit better. Boink. milk you because that counts as extra affection. Alright. Uh, yeah. Fed them. Sometimes I forget. Angry cow. Alright, sprites, are you in here on rainy days? I, like, never see you in here. Aha, you are. That's, that's convenient. The sound of rain is almost like music. Have a pot of honey. Kind of makes sense that they like honey pots because they have a lot of pots in their house. <laughs> they even have they even have a friend called Mr. Pots <laughs> that uh, shows up in a Wonderful Life Special Edition. I don't want to go outside. Have some honey. I love sweets. It's gloomy when it rains all the time. Have a honey pot. Yay! I love sweets. Do do. I wonder what should. I have a feeling like giving them this much honey is probably enough to befriend all three of them. But maybe I should sell some stuff. Let's see, where's my milk? Um, I should probably just move that there <laughs> faster. I have a lot of milk. I'll make four. So in case I go to Ronald's, I can just sell that cheese and then buy some honey. Okay. That's good enough. Let's go hunting, hunting for Gwen. The sooner... The sooner we befriend people, the sooner we can start getting cutscenes. The endangered weasel is also pretty simple, sort of like the bluebird. Uh, I feel like it's even more simple once you realize what to do, because all the cutscenes come to you. You'll get you'll get visitors instead of like you having to figure out people's schedules and then arriving at a certain place. Hey Gwen, good morning. Doesn't it stink when it rains? Ugh. There you go. Wow, homemade jam. It looks delicious. Thanks. Alright, uh, I guess I could go see Ronald. Ronald McDonald. Food. Uh, I meant, yeah, I meant to sell. I was like, I don't want to buy the cheese, I want to sell it. And I'll buy just three more honeys. Alright, bedtime. Sooner to bed, sooner I can see if I can get cutscenes. Because I don't know how soon I'm going to activate these.
Uh, yep, over this one. Eh, hey, is there more sunny days? Yep, more sunny days in my future. So, I guess I'll... I'll get the eggs back to the forefront. Cause that's what I feed my dog. Here you go. I guess I'll let the chickens back out because I don't want to use bird feed on them if I can help it. Man, <laughs> I'm getting like hungry in real life. And I bought some Cinnabon the other day and I want to eat that for like breakfast slash lunch even though it's probably like a billion calories. Man, have you ever seen like the employees at Cinnabon like make their product? It's just like they place that like a sheet of dough and then it's just like brick of butter. And then they slather it around. I'm like, oh my god. And then on top of that, they put like the cinnamon and then and then like the icing. It's probably like all the calories you need in a day. And they make like cinnamon rolls much better than I ever, ever could. I always like burn them and they get like kind of disgustingly crispy for some reason. I like cinnamon rolls to be kind of soft and easy to tear apart. Not not crispy. Right horse, back outside you go. Get your affection back up after getting stuck out in the rain. My girl, you've forgiven me. Ah, uh, let's go. Out you go. Um, and where's my horse? Brush, brush, brush. I should not my cow. Good cow. All right, some more golden milk. All right, horse. Uh, let's actually ride you around town. Easy to find Gwell, actually. Is it Thursday? <laughs> might, might not be so easy to find Gwen. I also gotta hunt down Harvest Sprites. Become a Harvest Sprite hunter. There should be a game where, like... Okay, Gwen's, like, walking around. There should be a game <laughs> where... You should, uh... There's, like, this villain that's hunting sprites. And you have to, like, protect them. Wow, homemade jam? That looks delicious, thanks. Although I guess that's kind of a theme in like a lot of anime I've seen. Where like the bad guy tries to hunt and kill fairies. Because how dare they be magical and tiny and cute. Uh, well where, oh where could the harvest sprites be? Oh where, oh where could they be? I really, I really don't know. Are you here? If it takes too long, I, I'll probably just go to bed <laughs> and find out another day. Because it takes longer to befriend Gwen than it does Harvest Brights. Eh? Eh? Maybe I'll just head to bed. Let's go! Getting stuck on stuff. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. They might have been at the villa now that I think about it. Ah, uh, should I check? That's like the last place that they loiter around. But if I don't make it in time, then they'll, they would have have moved on left. They would have moved on to a different area. Can't speak words. Hey, Kurt. He went to the villa as well. Uh, nope, not here at the moment. All right, let's just go back to bed. Mm 
Do 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 do. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled, but it looks like no dice. I rarely find them in their house during the day, so I generally don't check. Eat some grass, horse. <laughs> Love me, dog. I gotta get your affection up a little higher. Are you going up too slow? How you doing, dog? It's still three hearts. Not sure how fast I can get it up. Alright, next day. It's up. <laughs> No, I don't want more rain. Uh, at least on like a rainy day, I can find harvest rights easily. I'm gonna pray that it doesn't though. Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can activate a cutscene then, and force it to be sunny. Buck, 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 buck. Alright, just in case, I'll, ch I'll check their home early in the morning to see if maybe they're in there before they head out into the world. Oh, look at this music. Ah, yep, they're not here. Okay, and animals. Oh, oh, fine. <laughs> fine, if you're gonna run away from me. Do, do, do. Okay, horse, let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, Gwen is. Pretty easy to find during store hours. She'll just be hanging out inside the carpenters. Whoop. Hey, Gwen. Well, you're up early. There you go. Wow, homemade jam looks delicious. Thanks. I'm your horse. Gotta hunt for sprites. I only know a few other places. Eh? Nope. Uh, actually they also hang out at the goddess pond sometimes. Man, it's just like random every time you load up into a zone. Alright, let's check by Lila's. blow my nose so I'm gonna like turn around and do it <laughs> morning ickiness all right not there where are thou sprites come hither aha they're here oh no they're leaving <laughs> No, you turds! Oh god. Sweets are fattening, so I'm trying to cut down. Oh no, I threw one on the ground. Here you go. That's fine. Alright, I gave all of them honey. Didn't chat with them, that's, but that's fine. Do it. Maybe I'll buy one more honey to replace the one I chucked on the ground. <laughs> I wonder where they spawn next. Maybe tomorrow I'll like book it to Clove Clovis Villa. Uh, right. Here 
right, Ronald's is right here. And you're open today. One more. All right. Sorry, I chucked that on the ground. I try to aim, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Night right, horse. I'm gonna go to bed and pray it doesn't rain. Alright, guys. <laughs> Doggy. Good doggo. Night sleep. Hey, it's raining. No luck for me. Tomorrow's 50% chance of rain. But hey, at least the harvest sprites are easy to find today. There you go. Clucky chicken. Are you stressed out? I was like, ah, wet. Alright, alright, don't get your feathers too ruffled. Fine. It's like a bath. It's like a bird bath. I'm just bringing your, bringing your feathers in here. cock a doodle doo And you. Okay, cow, you're close, so that's good. You really got angry eyes. Alright, no, don't, don't. I know. It's hard and Okay, jeez. I hate I hate pushing them in. Uh yeah, I I totally missed that. Brush you. Getting very unlucky with the rain. <laughs> Alright, you're fine, girl. Alright, let's give some honey to the sprites. I have a feeling I probably have enough affection with them. It just relies on Gwen at this point at this point. How you doing? The sound of rain is almost like music. Oh, sweets are fattening, so I'm trying to cut down. But if you insist, thanks. Eh, why not? I'll, I'll give this to you first. Yay, I love sweets! So excited. Sometimes listening to the rain is fun. It makes me kind of cheerful. I love sweets. It gets cold when it doesn't stop raining. All right, to Gwen. Have to walk all the way there. Is what Saturday? <laughs> Still be in her shop for a few more days before Tuesday. Let's pick some more berries. More, more, more things to make jam with. Gwen, have your favorite thing. Good morning. Doesn't it stink when it rains? Here we go. This will make your day a little brighter. Wow, homemade jam. It looks delicious. Thanks. Good boy. And maybe I'll buy some more honey. <laughs> I was like, I'm kind of inclined to just 
to just uh, bribe the harvest sprites until something happens. Ronald, you're probably happy that I'm giving you business. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy two more days worth. This is probably extremely excessive, but... Let's see, should I sell some things? I can only sell processed milk, I forgot. I, I, I actually don't mind selling regular milk now, because I think I'm good on the monies. I don't need to, like, maximize profits. I should just probably concentrate on maximizing time efficiency, but... Oh, hello! Oh man, wow! What's going on, guys? Help! Um, are you guys okay? Something white and violent is picking on us. Um, is it Muku Muku? A weird creature is attacking us. We're going to be eaten. <laughs> We're just like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna be the first one eaten. I just know it. Please, please, get him for us. Beat him up hard. Wow. Okay, violence, dude. We can't walk through the forest safely anymore. We're going to the harvest goddess like now. Um. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> What is that? Uh, we don't really call that white. It's more of like a gray, <laughs> a regular looking ferret. Doesn't he look really mean? Get him! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh oh, we work. How did you see us? Weren't you just trying to catch him? You'd better have a good excuse, or else. I didn't know you were the kind who... who would be cruel to animals. Hey, I was just watching out for these invisible sprites. Oh no, this is bad. Vixis got him in the act. In what act? I was just looking at a ferret. Who knew that that mean creature was Big Sis's pet? No wonder he's so violent. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Armin Sprites are on my side! <laughs> this is Snowball. He's not white at all. Isn't he cute? He's a really rare species of weasel. And there are only a few of these left. Oh, how convenient. They're endangered. So, don't you dare do something funny to him. Uh... Okay, got out of that unscathed? I've got an idea. Let's let everyone know that Snowball lives here. Good good job, Goddess. Thinking ahead here. Once they know this area is home to an endangered species, they're going to want to save this land because of it. Yay, Goddess, you're a genius! Do, do we have to catch him? We just need a picture of him, right? Ah, oh, Lewis has a camera, we know that. That's right, so get to work! Okay, that means me. Go ask that girl to help you. Uh, she doesn't seem like the type to help. Oh, I'm so scared. What are we going to do? We have to pray that Big Sis won't get mad. Alright, so we triggered... <laughs> we... <laughs> We, we triggered Gwen. We we triggered the endangered Louisa cutscene. So I think we're done on the Harvest Sprites affection rates. We just have to butter up Gwen to see if she'll actually help us with this storyline. She's very hard to convince. It gets a little annoying. Alright, so sunny days are ahead, so let me let my animals out again. Chickens, let's let's get some fresh air. Mm 
Four chickens. Five chicken. All right. I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of curious to see if the <coughs> off, if the townspeople have anything to say about the weasel. Last time I did this, once again, I they didn't say anything. They're just like it's the dry season. It's so dry. There's no rain at all. I'm like okay. Well, I'm not getting anything important from them. But since it's kind of early in the game. And I got their introdu introductions over with. Let's see if there's any new dialogue. Alright, chickens, shut up! Shut up! Uh, okay, kid, you're kind of on your side, so I can't ride you. Get out there. You too, Holly. Oops. Okay, thank god that still counts. Aw, <laughs> oh, you're all the way over there, guys? Really? Don't do this to me. Okay, horse, let's ride. Hi ho, silver! It's locked. <laughs> it's probably Sunday. Uh, how about you two gentlemen? Do you have anything to say? Good morning. Nope. Nothing. Good morning. All right. <laughs> Interesting. How about the grandfather of Gwen? Hey there. Good morning. Let's notice it. Does anyone have parents here? Seems like everyone's just like a grandparent. <laughs> Ugh. Everyone's like an orphan here. It's so early. What do you want? I want you to help me with something. Don't be rude. Wow, homemade jam looks delicious, thanks. Ugh, I still gotta butter her up. Yeah, I have a feeling that no one's gonna have anything to say. Horse, are you okay? Did you, did you get some hay fever? Do, 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 do. No, oh, Lila and Kate are here. Because it's Sunday. Did you hear about the weasel? Hello, Talon, how's work? Apparently not. Hi, good morning. Alright, no one no one has anything interesting to say. Maybe I'll just talk to the goddess. And she'll probably bug me to bug Gwen. And then I'll head back to bed. And probably call an episode, because we've been going for over 40 minutes. Harvest goddess, you have any new dialogue? Hacha! You want to make- I can Then <laughs> There is no dialogue. I want to- yeah, energy. I was like- I was thinking of like, girl, but what if she failed? Okay, horsey gets stuck on flowers. Why can't you just trample them? Back on the farm. And yeah, guess I'll uh Yeah here, hope it doesn't rain. And go to bed. Hopefully you don't get any visitors tomorrow or else that will uh I'll still be nice, but it'll like drag out the episode a bit longer than than I can handle. Let's go to sleep. 
Alright, I hope you guys had a fun and relaxing time, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye!